You cannot achieve weight loss and sustainable health by merely eating 1200 calories on a daily basis. Yes, we know that in order to lose weight, we need to be in a caloric deficit if weight loss is the goal. There are a lot of people, whenever they start their fitness journey, they always start with the most obscene numbers. They will start with 1200 calories, 1400 calories, 1300 calories, without realizing that while eating such low calories, what tends to happen is there's a drop in energy level. You feel more cranky, you feel more groggy throughout the day, you work out, suffer more, you sleep terribly. After going through that weight loss phase, they'll lose a few pounds. It tends to happen is the body adapt. Once your body adapts, it's a lot harder for you to drop weight and you feel like you need to drop the calories even more. I'm here to tell you you don't need to do all that. What you need to start doing is you need to actually figure out what your caloric baseline is and start to work from there. Because yes, you can eat 1200 calories of just a bag of chips and think, well, I've hit my caloric goal without realizing that there are other components that go along with that. So that is things like your proteins, your carbs, your fat. If you are eating a set amount of calories on a daily basis, you'll start to understand that in order to feel good, in order to build muscle tissue, to eat enough protein, in order to have enough energy, you need to eat enough carbs. And you'll start to understand that carbs and protein, they work together. Carbs are protein sparing and vice versa. If you eat enough protein, you won't necessarily eat, need to eat as many carbs. You can get by on a lot, on a lot less carbs. 1200 calorie diet sucks and you need to change that right now.